Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So, a few days ago I went to the charity shops. In fact, I wasn't planning on going to the charity shops, I just went to get some food shopping. But of course, as I was walking back, I thought, let's go to the charity shops, because why not? They're open now, um, and I hadn't been in maybe five or six days, so... I thought I'd go to the charity shops. After two charity shops, my hands were full and I ended up having to walk up what the students lovingly refer to here as Bitch Hill. Um, when students are intoxicated, of course, in the city centre, in Bangor, they have to walk up Bitch Hill to get to where I am here in the student halls, uh, in the student village. So, um, of course, uh, with this hill, I mean, it's not particularly steep, although it is fairly steep, um, but mainly it's the length that gets you, the, the length of this hill, and of course it being a little bit steep as well, those two things in unison really get you, and uh, obviously even if you're not intoxicated and you've just got a few bags worth of stuff, or you've got a rucksack on with loads of things, or whatever it is people have, um, it does get people. So uh, anyway, after the second charity shop, I was hands full, let's go back up Bitch Hill, and uh, yeah, I was happy with some of the stuff I got, so without further ado, without further rambling, because of course, I could get into that tendency to ramble right now, whatever it may be, prefrontal cortex, the mythology of uh, cerebral anatomy, or what, you know, whatever it bloody is, or philosophy or something, it could go in any direction the rambling, so... Without, I really do have to stop myself from rambling. So, um, without that, let's get on. Let's see the items. And then uh, I will tell you what they're worth on eBay, what I hope to get from all the rest of it. Now, actually, just very, very quickly, and I will be very, very conscious of myself here so then I don't ramble. Um, obviously, I don't know whether these board games are complete or not. However, the nature of these board games being vintage and being uh, of some value, I noticed on eBay that I could even get a good amount of money back just for parting them out. So it doesn't really matter too much, even if some of the board games are incomplete, because of course I can just part them out and get some good money for them. So either way, whether I'm selling them as complete and getting the figures that I'm telling you for them, or whether I'm parting them out, I'm going to get similar amount of money for them anyway. In fact, parting them out, there is a possibility in some circumstances that I could get more money for them. In, in certain vintage board games, that is actually the case. So... Uh, yeah, it's, I'm not too worried about that. I didn't check them in the charity shop or anything. Obviously, they say they, they check them, but, you know, not all the volunteers do that. Sometimes they just put the sticker on. Uh, in other circumstances, some people do check them, but, of course, human error and all the rest of it. So, that being said, now we'll get on with the haul. So, first board game. I only picked this up because it was brand new and sealed. It's uh, an old-style taboo, I guess, from, like, the 90s or the... Oh, maybe not. No, 2002. It looks like quite a, a 90s box, that. But, yeah, 2002. And, uh, yeah, brand new and sealed. And I thought I'd pick this up because I used to get taboos off eBay, uh, brand new and sealed, and then flip them on Amazon. And I knew there's always been a good bit of money in the slight... I mean, it's not quite vintage yet, this one, but it's nearly there. Um... But, you know, in the slightly more vintage ones, slightly older ones, um, there's sometimes some good money in them, even on eBay or FBA, to be honest, but generally a bit more so on FBA. Now, I'm not doing FBA currently, and the sales rank on this seemed quite um, high for toys and games. So I think I'll just whack it on eBay. Now, one is sold pre-owned for £7.50. None, none others sold in the last three months or so. Um... And not non sold brand new and sealed. So I was thinking, well, I'll probably just double the pre owned price or maybe go for nineteen ninety nine. So like fourteen ninety nine, nineteen ninety nine, and just stick it on and see who t who picks it off at some point. Now I can't see it going incredibly fast because it's a little bit more of an obscure one or a little bit more of a kind of slow seller. It, it seems like this one. But still, I just whack it on and at some point I'll get some money for it. So yeah, there's that one there. Oh, also, I uh, just remembered as well, uh, that one was 2 dollars but of course I got every... Well, I don't even know what I said, actually, but I've got everything for 15 quid anyway. That's like the total uh, expense of the day. 
Um, but yeah, that one specifically was $2.99. So yeah, that'll be a, a quite a good one actually. Now, this is the one that really attracted me first off in the charity shop. It's called The Sorcerer's Cave. It's by Gib Gibson's Games. And it just had that kind of vintage, um, mythological type style to a lot of the games that are actually expensive. A lot of the games that are expensive have that very, very typical mythological style, um, very, very fantasy-like, um, and, and a lot of those games, not all of them, but a lot of them do well. Um, now, this one looked a little bit whimsical and also looked a little bit more childlike, especially in its like cartoon graphics and stuff. So I was kind of on the fence. I thought, oh, maybe this isn't going to be a good one. But I researched this one in the shop. The others I didn't research. But I researched this one and it, one of them had sold on eBay for 42 quid plus post. So I was all over that. This one was originally stickered up at 199. Um, so, yeah, you know. Can't really go wrong on that. I thought one ninety nine, and it and it did um, intrigue me actually because I thought, why didn't they stick this up at more? Surely someone would have researched this on eBay. You know the way it is in charity shops these days, everything bloody gets researched on eBay, um, and you would have thought that would have gone in one of the little cabinets that are in every charity shop now. But you know some things they do actually slip through the net. Some things don't get researched on eBay. Uh, you know, in some charity shops, or even there's odd charity shops that just don't really do that as much. Um, and so anyway, um, yeah, it slipped through the net and it was on there anyway, so that was cool. So yeah, that was a good little uh, buy there. Uh, this next one in the, the lot of board games. So obviously after that taboo, that taboo was on a second shop, on, on, sorry, uh, on a different shop to this lot I'm showing you now. It was in the first shop. Uh, these were all in the second shop and they came to about 12 quid odd for, for the rest of these board games. That was including the Sorcerer's Cave one that I showed there. So this one again looked very interesting to me, has a vintage feel. It's called Titan. We've got kind of a western uh, dragon there, obviously a motif of evil. And then you've got the unicorn there as well and then this kind of Roman soldier, warrior type guy. Kind of like Roman, although you've kind of got like a little bit of a... It feels to me like almost a little bit of a Norse feel as well to it. It's kind of odd. Um, but yeah, you've got the unicorn there, which seems to be in this particular on this particular box a representation of like the masculine hero which is of course synonymous with with this guy here i'm doing a little bit of mythological interpretation of the box just because it's quite interesting and of course i do like the mythological underpinnings of, of psychology that's kind of like one of my main interests so um yeah i mean of course in alchemy, the, the uh, unicorn can also represent the unification of the masculine and the feminine, so that could be an, an alternative to interpretation, but that's not what it means in the context of this box, of course. Um, but yeah, anyway, so that was that one. Uh, 22 quid on eBay, that one, so I'm pretty excited about that. That was quite a nice little one as well, nice little find. Um, and yeah, again, included in like the 12 quid odd of that particular job lot, oh, I've got a notification. I hate you on that. I need to stop. I don't know how to stop that reminder sound coming through. I need to check on my notifications anyway. But it comes through about four times a day. Well, it feels like that. It's probably about once or twice a day. Um, and it annoys me to hell, so I need to try and find out to fix that. But yeah, anyway, that's that one. So 22 quid on that one. Can't complain with that. Uh, next, another vintage-looking one. It was quite an interesting one. This one goes for 17 quid. Judge Dredd, the game of crime fighting in Mega City 1. Um, now, I was maybe thinking this could have gone two ways. I thought to myself, well, maybe it could be worth about a tenner, or maybe it might be worth, it might be one of those games that's worth about 30 quid. In fact, I was wrong in both cases because it was pra practically slap bang in the middle at 17 quid plus post. Um, but yeah, so that was quite interesting. Nice little game. Um, and someone will really like that as well. This is one of those games you can really see in the hands of a vintage collector and uh, something that they just like, you know, whether it's for just in a collection just to collect or whether it's to play or whatever. But yeah, um, that one's quite a nice one. Now, this is another good one. This is a Warlock of Firetop Mountain. And again, when he brought this one out in this little job lot, this was one of the ones that I thought, oh, there's some, there's some good money in this one here. We've got this cool guy um, who's kind of like supporting like a, a black and uh, white sort of um, 
motif. I don't even know what you call it. It's not it's not kimono or anything like that. It's like um, God, I don't know. It's just some sort of uh, garment. It's a very cool garment though, and he seems to be uh, some sort of hero devil type thing. It's like it really is kind of like a union of both because you've got some sort of slightly lighter side in his face and then some sort of slightly darker side and then you've got this dragon up here as well. Really, really cool. It has kind of like almost slightly Taoist uh, Chinese feel to it as well. And even the dragon, like the dragon looks, although it's kind of got like a Western theme to it, it's also got slightly Chinese theme to it, although not fully Chinese. But it's quite an interesting, it really is quite an interesting box, actually, that. And so, yeah, this is the Warlock of Fire Trap Mountain, Fire Top Mountain, either, even. And uh, that one, one has gone for 42 quid again. Now, that one did have some, uh, I don't know whether it was sealed contents or something like that. Although, it didn't, I don't think it said that in the actual title. But it looked in the photo like it had either sealed contents or, or at least bagged up contents. So, it might be that I get a little, little bit less than 42 quid on that one. But still, I can't see get, me getting less than 30 quid. Um, so, yeah, that one was pretty cool. Um, nice little item, really, there. Uh, nice little find as well in the, in the chat shops. Now, I don't know whether this is... Oh yeah, it is. It's Games Workshop as well. It is actually Games Workshop there. So of course, you know, when you see something games, vintage Games Workshop, there's probably going to be some money in it at least. So yeah, that was that one there. And then finally, the dud of the lot. But I just obviously picked it up in the bundle. I thought, well, if I'm taking a chance on everything, let's take a chance on this one. I thought that maybe this would be $12.99 or $14.99, something like that. But it isn't even that. I mean, one has gone for seven ninety nine. Maybe, maybe that was free post, or maybe I think it was maybe plus post. Um, but you know, other ones have gone for like three ninety nine plus plus post. So it really is a, a, a dud. This one. Um, I don't even know whether I'm gonna list it. I might just re donate it because it doesn't really matter. Um, I've obviously got some good money back on the rest of it, and it's not. It's just not worth it for me to put something on at like three ninety nine plus post like that. So. Um, yeah, it'll probably just get re-donated. I've got a few bits of clothing to donate anyway. Um, so, yeah, I'll, I'll probably just re-donate it with them. Um, but, yeah, 3 99 So, it, it's not it's not great, that one. So, in total, obviously, I paid 15 quid for everything. I'm looking to get back around the 140 quid in sales value. I think I worked it out fully at £142. Now, that might have been inclusive. I think it was inclusive of, of the Dragonology. So, if we take off, like, the four quid or whatever for Dragonology, then you're probably looking about £136. Sale price, excluding postage. Um... So yeah, I mean, I'm really happy with that. From 15 quid into 140 quid, 135 quid, something like that. Um, yeah, really good, cool. Uh, nice little day at the charity shops. Well, I say day, a nice little 20 minutes at the charity shops. And uh, yeah, it was nice to get out. Um, I have enjoyed going around the charity shops, actually. I've, I've been Since they've opened uh, in Wales, probably, I don't know, Four, three weeks ago, four weeks ago, something like that. I don't know, we're currently May the 14th anyway, so whenever it was. It feels like about three weeks ago now. And, um, yeah, I've really enjoyed it. I've been around about three or four times, and uh, it's just nice. It's nice to have a different experience, because, of course, we've been in lockdown for so long and all the rest of it, and all the shops have been closed, and... It's nice just to have that experience of just going round at a leisurely pace, round some charity shops, just having a browse. If you get anything, you get something brilliant. If you don't get anything, you don't get something. Well, it doesn't really matter, you know. You just walk away, you get on with your day, do whatever else you're doing, and then go back uh, in a week or so, or a few days later, and, and then you might get something. So, yeah, it's, it's been nice. It's been nice to have that. And, of course, it's a nice... Uh, opposition or, or counter position to uh, the the mental stuff of the uni work, like going around the charity shops is just a nice relief from that, and it's very, very different from that, so uh, yeah, it's nice, it was nice, so anyway, there are things I got, thank you very much for joining me, I won't ramble anymore, we're already coming up to 15 minutes, I swear I just ramble on this, I, I don't think I can do, I know I have done a video before that's below 15 minutes, but I just don't think I can do it. It's just so hard. These days, I just don't think I can because I just ramble, ramble, ramble. Um, but yeah, I won't ramble anymore. I'll leave it there. 
Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one. So see you very soon.